the initial I, I can tell. Okay. Yeah, it started. Okay, well, hello everybody, this is Burak and Idrun. I'm going to show him the way I exfoliate molybdenum dietalurite onto PDMS substrates. And we want to take a video record of it so other people can benefit from that as well. Okay, so we have our microscope slice here. And we are going to use some PDMS that we made a while ago. Okay. Eugene was asking about these grid lines. Those are from cutting PDMS into the small pieces so we can exfoliate on them one by one. And there's already some, but I'm going to cut one more just for the purpose of demonstration. Seems pretty tense, maybe one millimeter or even thinner. So it's better not to have any kind of bubbles here mm -hmm. because that will not make the surface flat and it's difficult to search for flakes and difficult to transfer. There is also an area that's for some reason it's like a drop yeah. that was frozen there. It's, it's okay for our purpose, I'm just going to exfoliate vertically so that won't be a problem. Okay. To make sure that the PDMS surface is even cleaner, because this is from a while ago, I'm going to clean it again. Okay. Put some knife in there. So PDMS surface is already sticky, unlike silicon dioxide, quartz, or sapphire. However, it's not; it's pretty rough. Mm -hmm. So that means you don't have to press too much. If you press too much, the flakes will be buried on those rough areas. Okay. Okay. Yep. So what you need to do is just to make sure that the flakes touch the surface. Okay. Okay. The flakes be touching the surface. So if you want, you can go to my right side. Yeah. If you want a better contact, that means you need to get rid of the air bubbles. So I'm starting from one edge. Just like placing a film on your phone, you're making sure there is no bubbles. I'm not pressing much. It's right enough to for for the contact. So this, this, uh, this thing, this little droplet caused a problem for us, but it's okay for the most part. Okay. Now I'm going to use something, something weak like this. This post-it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Such that the pressure is minimal. This is how I'm going to apply pressure. And I usually wait for a little bit, for maybe half a minute or a minute. Okay. So, uh, 
So how we, this is called blue tape? Yeah, uh, so it's a blue tape. I don't know the specific scientific name. Uh, it's still blue tape. Okay, and what does it do? Uh, uh, that's a good question. It's, it's sticky a little bit, so it will hold your crystal. Okay. Uh, then the alternative is to use scotch tape. Well, scotch tape is extremely sticky. Then you will have a hard time getting that out of PDMS, I think. Because oh. PDMS is, is not extremely, is not strongly held okay. on the slide, so you don't use scotch tape. Okay. I don't know if anyone uses scotch tape on PDMS, actually. But blue tape can be used on silicon dioxide. I think people do that. Okay, some more pressure. Okay, now I'm going to remove the tape relatively quickly. Mm -hmm. okay. And if you can zoom here, there's a good amount of shiny crystal. Mm, yeah. Okay. okay. Right. You can stop. 